Remix is an online ID for smart contract development and testing, uh, also used for deployment, etc. So we are going to use Solidity language uh, and the Remix ID for our smart contracts creation and uh, deployment. So here is our Remix uh, website, remix.ethereum.org. Uh, you can simply open this website and uh, this ID will appear here. And you can see Solidity here, just click it. And uh, here are the details of our Solidity compilers. Uh, on the left hand side, uh, we can see uh, our file explorer. And uh, in our file explorer, you can see contract, script and tests folder. Uh, we are not going to use these two folders. We are just going to use contracts folder. In our contracts folder, there will be uh, our smart contract files, uh, Solidity files with the extension .sol. Uh, we are going uh, where we are going to uh, code our smart contract logic. So here we can create our new uh, smart contract file. Uh, we can name it uh, anything and the test dot uh, sol. It will create a file blank file. Uh, the next step is for our solidity compiler details that we have just seen. Uh, here is our compiler uh, details that is currently selected and uh, we can choose uh, from a uh, different list of compilers that are uh, previous or the latest one. And uh, the language is of course Solidity that we are going to use, compiler default and uh, no we are going, not going to use autocompile, yep, uh, uh, check this post box uh, enable optimization and uh, leave it to 200 uh, this is used for optimizing the bytecode from a generated uh, after compiling the smart contract so we are done uh, here on this tab and let's move to the next one deploy and run transactions tab and uh, here as you can see environment uh, for uh, our local deployment uh, on Remix IDE, we are going to use JavaScript VM uh, environment, leave it at is it. And uh, here is our account list. Remix uh, uh, generates a pre-filled list of accounts with some test ether, uh, as you can see 100 ether each account. So we can use these accounts to interact with our smart contracts uh, and pay transaction fees and ether etc. Okay, and now let's uh, start the development of our smart contract. Head towards file step and open test as well file that we recently created or you can also create a new file from here. And uh, the first thing in our smart contract will be uh, the compiler version that we will define like this program solidity and uh, this will tell that uh, the compiler should be greater than or equal to 0.7 and less than 0.9 the other thing we will define is the contract itself and the name of the contract using the contract keyword and the name after that here will go the body of the contract and uh, first we will uh, define the contract constructor like this and uh, yep, the constructor of the contract is executed whenever the smart contract is deployed on the blockchain. And uh, let's declare a variable here of type address. Address is a special type in Solidity that will represent a Ethereum address of any user. And uh, let's say it owner. And uh, yeah, leave it uninitialized and we will set the value of our owner variable in our constructor so let's use owner equals to message.sender and the semicolon that is used as a terminator so message.sender contains the value of the uh, address and that is calling the transaction or yeah, like uh, in the constructor the one who is uh, deploying the smart contract so our initial uh, owner will be the deployer of the contract okay so now let's uh, declare some functions to get and set the values of uh, the owner firstly we will create a function get owner and uh, here we can define any uh, parameters like this and name 
and uh, after that we have to define the visibility of the function or like public uh, or private public functions are the one that can be called from within the contract or from outside of the contract like from web3.js in our decentralized applications okay and after that we can uh, define the type of the function if you want to uh, like view uh, the view functions are the one that only read the uh, state of the blockchain like data from the blockchain uh, but does not modify any data in the blockchain afterwards uh, yeah we can define the return statement of our uh, function like using the returns keyword and mentioning uh, which variables or data types will be returned from this function we will need address data type okay and here will go the function's body in here we will simply return the owner of our smart contract okay good now let's create a function to set or uh, update the ownership of uh, uh, yeah ownership variable here we cannot use view because we have to update the state uh, variable of the contract and uh, we don't have to return anything looks good so uh, in our set owner function uh, we will first check if uh, uh, the current owner of the contract is calling the function uh, anyone cannot change the owner uh, only the owner can change the ownership or transfer ownership to other owner for this we will use require require is like conditional statement if else conditional statements uh, in here we will define the condition and uh, firstly uh, we will need new owner parameter here okay and uh, we will check if new owner is equals to oops not new owner current owner is equals to message dot sender again message or sender will contain uh, the address of user who is calling the set owner function and uh, if this condition is true uh, then the next lines that are written here will be executed otherwise this uh, will be reverted from here and we can also show some message here on uh, when the transaction is reverted and the condition is not met like not authorized okay and uh, now we will transfer the ownership or set the current owner to the new owner like this great now let's uh, add one more thing here uh, the event events are uh, like the logging functionality in ethereum virtual machine or smart contracts and can be declared by using uh, event keyword like this and then the event name let's call it uh, owner changed and uh, it also takes some parameters if you want to like uh, address new owner and uh, we can also mention uh, different par multiple parameters here uh, separating by comma uh, let's say current owner that has transferred the ownership okay and uh, we can simply call our owner changed event in here like this by using the emit keyword and uh, providing the values of parameters so a new owner we will get or here and owner will go here okay sounds good and uh, now we have created our contract let's compile it by going in the compilation tab here from s and click compile test as well uh, or simply you can use control plus s to compile the contract if there is any error uh, it will be shown here uh, like this or if it's compiled successfully no error will be shown then we can go to our deploy tab right uh, after the compilation tab here and uh, from here as you can see the javascript vm uh, is selected uh, that is the default environment for testing in our remix ide and the javascript vm is uh, you can consider it like uh, 
um, a blockchain running on the browser uh, that Remix provided for testing our smart contracts. So we can use any of the accounts from here and uh, here is our smart contracts name and we can simply click deploy to deploy our contract uh, in here. So let's click deploy and uh, here is our contract deployed here. And here are the functions that we have created here. So we can uh, call our functions by just clicking here, get owner, click the function. So here is our current owner. Uh, that is the deployer of the contract here. And uh, now one more thing, you can also check uh, the transaction status here uh, whenever the transaction is raised. So let's call the set owner function from here. You can copy the address and change the uh, caller address from here. Uh, now this second address is used to call the uh, function. And paste the address here. So now we are uh, changing our owner to this address. But uh, instead of using the current owner's address, we are using some other address uh, to call the function. Uh, so this should throw the error here. So let's call the function set owner. And uh, here, as you can see, uh, the transaction is reverted and not authorized message is shown here. Okay, so now let's call the function from our uh, current owner of the contract and uh, provide the other address to change ownership to. Here you can see the contract uh, function is successfully called and uh, here are some details that you can see from the transaction. Uh, from address to address and some gas etc. And in the log section, we can see uh, our events, owner changed event and uh, the values from here, new owner and current owner. So uh, this is how uh, our smart contracts works. And uh, we have learned how to write, deploy and test smart contracts on Remix IDE. If you want to learn and uh, go deeper uh, in the Solidity, there is also a full Ethereum blockchain course uh, link in the description. And uh, you can also subscribe to the channel uh, to get uh, more upcoming programming videos. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care.